Archaeologists made several amazing discoveries in 2022, including the tomb of a previously undiscovered queen, a falcon shrine with a coded message, and a sizable tunnel beneath a temple. Ancient Egypt is full of secrets. Here are a few of this year's most astounding archaeological finds from Ancient Egypt. Welcome back, everyone! In today's video, we will be sharing archaeological mysteries of Egypt. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's begin! Number 14. Lifelike Mummy Portraits Archaeologists found numerous fragmentary pictures of people buried in the cemetery and two complete mummy portraits while excavating a cemetery in the ancient Egyptian city of Philadelphia. According to researchers, the dead were likely middle class or elite, as it would have cost a lot of money to have a portrait painted in their likeness at the time. Archaeologists also seldom come across mummy portraits due to looting. The last specimens were found in the 1880s. Number 13. Temple Dedicated to the Deity Zeus Cassios Zeus Cassios was a god who was a hybrid of Zeus and the weather god Cassios, and archaeologists discovered his temple in the Tel El Farama site on the Sinai Peninsula. Researchers found the temple after they noticed pieces of two pink granite columns sticking out of the ground. These columns are thought to have supported the temple's entrance before collapsing after a significant earthquake in antiquity. Number 12. Mummies with Gold Tongues Mummies were frequently interred with gold tongues throughout the Greco-Roman era. The ancient Egyptians thought that by doing this, the dead would become divine beings in the hereafter. A group of archaeologists discovered many instances of this unique burial custom at a dig site in an old cemetery close to Questia, located just north of Cairo. Numerous grave items, including necklaces, pottery, and gold scarabs beetles, were also present in the tombs. Number 11. Falcon Shrine and a Cryptic Message About Boiling Heads After unearthing a 1,700-year-old shrine with 15 headless falcons on a pedestal and a stone monument showing two unidentified gods in Berenike, a port on the Red Sea, archaeologists made a startling discovery. An iron harpoon was discovered next to the pedestal. Still, the Greek inscription researchers recovered in one of the shrine's back rooms, which said, It is improper to boil a head in here, particularly astounded scholars. Number 10. Rosetta Stone A priestly decree that recognizes Pharaoh Ptolemy V's, who was 13 at the time, authority to rule Egypt is preserved on the Rosetta Stone and dates to 196 BC. The decree on the Rosetta Stone is noteworthy because it was written in three different languages, hieroglyphic, demotic, and Greek. Only the Greek language was known when the stone was found in 1799, but since the Greek inscription conveyed the same decree as the other two languages, it assisted scientists in deciphering those tongues. This made it possible to read manuscripts written in demotic and hieroglyphic. The stone was discovered in 1799 by a scientific team traveling with a military expedition headed by Napoleon. The British eventually took the stone, which is now kept at the British Museum. Egypt has requested that Britain return the stone to it. Number 9. Gold Ring Featuring the Likeness of the God of Fun Here's more evidence that even the ancient Egyptians enjoyed themselves. A necklace and three rings were among the gold objects discovered by archaeologists while they excavated a burial site at Akhetaten, modern-day Amarna, a city south of Cairo. The engraving of Bess, commonly referred to as the God of Pleasure, stands out on one piece of jewelry. Ancient representations of the silly god have been discovered all around Egypt. He is frequently portrayed as a dwarf who enjoys partying, performing music, and guarding expectant mothers. Number 8. Birthmarks That Provide Protection 
Some ancient Egyptian women would receive tattoos before giving birth as protection during childbirth. When examining mummies buried at the archaeological site of Deir el Medina, which is situated along the banks of the Nile River, archaeologists found six instances of this procedure. Since the skin would need to be maintained, and archaeologists often avoid opening mummies, finding ancient tattoos is rare. However, in one instance, parts of the bodies were visible, including a woman's lower back inscribed with black lines in old ink and a picture of the god Bess, who guarded women during childbirth. Number 7. Numerous Water Tunnels in Taposiris Magna, a historic city west of Alexandria, Egypt, archaeologists found a 4,281-foot-long tunnel beneath a temple. The enormous tunnel, which is supposed to have formerly been used to deliver water to residents, is a perfect duplicate of the Eupalinos Tunnel on the Greek island of Samos, regarded as an engineering marvel. Number 6. Pyramid Town at Giza The Giza Plateau, a settlement close to the Pyramid of Menkaure, has been the subject of excavations since 1988 by a group of archaeologists from AERA, Ancient Egypt Research Associates. The last pyramid built at Giza was for the pharaoh Menkaure, who ruled from around 2490 to 2472 BC. Locals of Giza would have contributed to the construction of the monument. The town's barracks for troops, a mansion for top officials, and a port for importing products are among the discoveries uncovered. The finds reveal many details about the individuals who constructed the pyramids and the logistics involved, including how the builders were nourished. Number 5. Tomb KV-5 Excavations at KV-5 in 1995 showed that the little-known tomb was the biggest ever built in the Valley of the Kings. Archaeologists have discovered 121 corridors and chambers in the tomb as of the most recent report. However, more than 150 are expected to be discovered. The tomb was used to bury Ramses II's sons, according to archaeologists. Reign 1279 to 1213 BC. There are at least six known royal sons whose remains are in KV-5. There may have been so many sons buried in the tomb because there are more than 20 carvings of sons on its walls. Number 4. Birds in an Egyptian Masterpiece To identify the precise species depicted in the 3,300-year-old artwork, Current researchers used a replica of a picture depicting birds in flight perched close to a marsh. The masterpiece was discovered by archaeologists in a palace in the ancient Egyptian city of Amarna more than a century ago. Still, it wasn't until recently that scientists were able to identify the species it depicted, including a pied kingfisher, Cerile rudis, a red-backed shrike, Lanius colurio, and a white wagtail. Motacilla alba. Number 3. New Understanding of Mummification Archaeologists have entirely rewritten the textbook definition of mummification. Instead of using the burial ritual to preserve the dead's bodies, the ancient Egyptians used it to help the dead become gods. The Manchester Museum at the University of Manchester in England will host the Golden Mummies of Egypt exhibition beginning in early 2023. Archaeologists refer to this new understanding as a complete 180. Number 2. King Tut's Tomb The most well-known archaeological find to date is likely the tomb of Tutankhamun in Egypt's Valley of the Kings. The tomb of Tutankhamun was discovered in 1922 by a team led by Howard Carter and included amazing artifacts, including the late king's iconic death mask. Carter entered the tomb on November 26, 1922. As one's eyes became accustomed to the glimmer of light, the interior of the chamber gradually loomed before one, with its strange and wonderful medley of extraordinary and beautiful objects heaped upon one another he wrote in his diary as he struggled to describe the wonders he saw that day. Number 1. Oxyrhynchus papyri 
The about 1,800-year-old papyri fragments were found by archaeologists Bernard Grenfell and Arthur Hunt between 1896 and 1907. The investigators discovered the pieces amid the ruins of Oxyrhynchus, a significant ancient settlement in southern Egypt that thrived while the Roman Empire ruled Egypt. Due to the town's arid environment, the papyri used by the citizens survived for almost two millennia. Christian gospels, magical formulas, and even a deal to rig a wrestling match are all found in the papyri. Many of the papyri are now in the possession of the United Kingdom's Egypt Exploration Society, which funded the Grenfell and Hunt expeditions and kept them at the University of Oxford. The papyri have been studied and translated by academics ever since the fragments were found, but many still need to be published due to the volume of texts. That is all for this video. We will be back soon with another informative video. Don't forget to like and share this video. Until next time!